What's up everybody? Tindo here. With me I've got Hannah who is awake and we're walking out to the street corner this morning because some friends are on their way over here to pick us up and we're going to drive a couple hours east of Phoenix to a town called Tucson and we're going to do some video game shopping over there. We're going to do some thrifting over there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hey look! Perfect timing! <laughs> stop to get some water because we're about to do such serious game hunting that uh, it's important to stay hydrated. <laughs> kind of feeling some orange juice too though. Nah, I mean, hmm, some pulp. Let's do it. Do you want one? No. Hmm, let's do, let's do a cheese stick too. Let's do one for now and one for later. Snacks. You want to see something awesome? Sure. Pocket cheese. <laughs> All right, watch me climb in this car. It's hilarious. Oh, you go first. Watch, I like to do head first. Head first. Yeah, so let me get in first. <laughs> How about that? Hannah, go grab the camera so I don't have to get back out. <laughs> <laughs> so our first stop of the day is a Bookman's. You can see the guys walking in already. I think Bookman's, which you see me go to on the channel quite a bit, actually started here in Tucson. So there's like way more of them here in this smaller town than there is in Phoenix. I don't know how many we're gonna go to today. I'm definitely personally a little bit more excited about the thrift, but Bookman's is always good. There's always some video games to look at. So let's start here and then maybe we'll hit some thrift shops. So to be completely honest, immediately overwhelming because almost everything here like is awesome. I don't, it's almost, it's almost like what our bookman's at home would look like if no one came in for a few weeks and then you had it all to yourself. Like, like, look, look, there's just like, there's like banging PS1 games just everywhere. They're just sitting around like want, super want. Are you fine? We are Groot. <laughs> do we, do we have Groot? I don't think we do. All right, we definitely don't have this one. Are they $4? Yeah, unfortunately. Ooh, here's Leia. I don't think I've ever seen Leia. No. Let's Wait, get a... That's not Gamora. Yeah, that's her. Let's get a couple of them, I guess. So our goal is to move quickly through these places, but uh, if it is like this, this is going to be a problem. Yeah, well, uh, we live here now. <laughs> right, I was thinking about getting it. Ooh, look at this. Gotham City Racer. I've never even heard of that game. Yeah, like, I want this bad. <laughs> Ooh, a Doctor Who role-playing game. A game for three or more players, ages 12 and up. You know, speaking of Doctor Who, look at, look at this. Where did it go? Time Lord, but not Doctor Who. So like, same, same, but different. Okay, I see a lot of stuff I want, but most of everything I see that I want is like $30 a piece. Uh, or like this red controller. I don't think I have a red PlayStation 1. PlayStation 2 controller, but I'm not paying $25 for it. We'll wait for that to show up at the bins. So I think I'm just gonna pick a game I want and just start out, just break the ice today and buy one game. There's so much good PSP stuff, and like, I don't know anything about this game, but like, look at this giant monster that the person's fighting on the back, want. It, it really does just feel though, like this place hasn't been shopped, like nobody here's shopping for video games. Like. This, half of this stuff I feel like I've never seen back home. Just like, like I've never even seen this game. I've never heard of it. That's insane. I think it's an RPG, isn't it? Ish. Uh, action. Yeah. Ish. Action -ish. <laughs> I'll buy. I'll buy anything for a dollar. Buy thirty seventh copy of We Fit for the week. A dollar sold. I know we've already talked about it, but look at this. God, every. Digimon game I have has been at least 30 bucks. I want it. Look at this stack. One, two, three. Oh, rip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We've been here five minutes, 13 games. <laughs> Mario Party 5, 
50 bucks. I want this one. Which one? This one? Yeah. I do too. Bet me I won't buy it. Don't buy it. Tell me, say bet you won't buy it. I bet you won't buy it. I bought it. So did you guys just grab every PSB game you didn't have? Or? No, there's some we don't have here, but they're overpriced. Okay. Let's run through some of these PlayStation 1 games. Try to find something because there's just so much here that I don't see regularly. <laughs> Land Before Time Racing game. I kind of want that. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's probably get that racing game. I want this bad, but it's a bit overpriced. Batman Gotham City Racer. <gasps> Why? Let's just do double dinosaur games. Let's put let's. A generic dinosaur game? Let's put this back. Let's get... No, it's from... Remember Disney Dinosaurs? Oh, we, yeah. yeah. I think Pat and I just talked about it the other day on the channel for some reason. He'd never seen it. Oh, yeah, we saw the VHS for it at a regular Goodwill. And Pat was like, what is this? Because it did. It came out right before Pat was born. All right. Let's do dinosaurs. Let's just... Let's make a new rule for today. Let's not buy anything that's not dinosaurs. That's all I'm saying. Dinosaur games. All right. These guys bought a bag full of games. I bought dinosaur games. Let's keep moving. I think we're going to hit a thrift store up now, and then we'll probably find another Bookman's before the day's over. But uh, I, I'm not promising anything. Which car? The, the This one. All right. First Goodwill. I don't know how many we're going to be able to make it to. There are a lot of Goodwills in town. There is a Goodwill Bins. There's a few Savers. So I don't know what out of all that we're going to make it to, but we're definitely going to go to a few Goodwills at least. Ooh, Vegas party. sealed and there's no price tag nice video game wise the shelves were pretty bare i might need to do a double take up at the lock boxes up front or something see if there's a few more stash because there's a suspiciously low number of video games here but let's check the toys real quick it's rabbit season just walked in and walked immediately to the jean section already found something i want to get much better day than yesterday for jeans. And we're early. It's really nice. These are kind of pretty. A little paisley. I saw the matching plates for these yesterday. I think they're Target. Room Essentials? That's Target, right? Here we go. Oktoberfest. Very nice. Oh, but it's not, it's not even from Germany. Boo. That looks more like a planter, not a popcorn bowl. Oh my gosh, I actually saw this at Crate and Barrel through like Christmas time, and I almost bought it for him, but it was like 20 bucks for this thing. Those are pretty. How amazing is, oh are these? Oh my gosh. If there was four of them, I would totally get them, but I don't know if I can do three. I mean, you could probably find another one eventually. Yeah, that looks really retro. God, these are pretty. They're only a or two dollars a piece, two for six dollars. The only game I can see in the lockbox is an NBA game. So, oh, that's a good one. So something odd here. We're 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 digging out a whole bunch of Wii titles. A couple of them sealed, but there's no prices. There's no stickers on any of them, which means it's all flat price. And uh, oh, okay, I'm, there's a sign over here. All video games are two bucks. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Sold. Madden. I've got this one. Just make sure, oh, well, it's rip anyways. So there's, check this out. No stickers on any of these games, any of these DVDs. It's all flat price. Uh, VHS are a quarter, cassettes are 49 cents, CDs are a dollar, video games are all two bucks. All DVDs are two bucks. I like that. Madden 03, yeah, I've got that one. Yeah, there was a couple of those in the lockbox. I wonder how those made it back here. So I'm walking through the figurine section. Um, there's always just the funniest things in the figurine section. Like this cute little little dog. But like, why is this bear so angry? He's gonna haunt your nightmares. So I'm just sitting here waiting for Hannah, thinking about life and stuff. And all the games in there were the same price. They're all two bucks, no matter what. And I don't know if it's gonna be that way for the rest of the stops today, but I hope it is. If every Goodwill in town is $2 a game. Golden. 
All right, so we've rolled up on another Goodwill and I wanna talk about it real quick. You guys know how I bought a yellow gumball machine the other day? Well, the first time that I ever brought up the yellow gumball machine on the channel, I saw it at this one. Now, obviously it's not still gonna be here, but uh, being as I haven't been to the Goodwills in Tucson hundreds of times like the ones I have back home, I have much sharper memories of things that I've seen in them. So let's go find something. Sweet. Definitely buying this. I've got those. So this is the second Goodwill that we've been to and the second time I have immediately walked in and found something right away. Those are coming home with me. They are Stephen Hardy Squeeze. Interesting. Xbox King Kong, more Halo. Nonsense. Guitar Hero. Uh, did you see that? It just disintegrated in my hand. Well, there's nothing in it. Wow. Well, we're gonna act like that didn't happen. It's hard to see, but there's a Bose speaker tucked back in there. Oh, it's got 50 bucks on it. Hmm. But they sell for a hundred and something. I, I don't know, I'm gonna think about it. I got a couple of games. You got a pair of overalls. You got Harry Potter. You lose. <laughs> Hey, look at that. But I found a bigger one. Uh, <laughs> if, if anybody's wondering what my Instagram post tomorrow is gonna be, let's go show the ladies. Hey, look, look. We found some things today that- Lisa found me another one. This is bigger. We're pretty sure these will resell for a little bit. Not a huge profit, but uh, these are things we've done a lot of research on. She's got some small one and uh, I've got a farting <laughs> Stimpy. <laughs> Where's Rin? Um, I know, right? I would- Don't break it. I'm so scared. I need All right, a let's, cart. let's go find Hannah a cart. Hey, Hannah. What? Guess what? In a probe. So I was walking along and there's this flat screen TV with a PlayStation on the back. Did you say it's 3D? Yeah, that's cool. I like, I would totally buy it, but it's a hundred bucks and you can get them cheaper than that online. But uh, I've never seen one in the wild. That's pretty wild. Nobody is happy at all that I bought this, but I'm pumped! So the, the group voted and I've got to put Stimpy in the trunk. Sleep, sleep tight, my baby. These guys are avid Vita collectors, so we're gonna actually go into GameStop and uh, see if they have anything these guys don't have. I'm half tempted to buy this just for the Mario show. Mario Uno. Hey, Mario Uno. Nice, you wanna play? Do. All right, nothing in GameStop that we need to look at, so let's keep moving. We, uh, we, we've still got a lot to go, so you guys hunker down. We're gonna be here a while. So we're rolling up to this place to eat. It's called The Sausage Shop. That don't sound good, I'm telling you. And uh, we're gonna eat here real quick, and then we Googled it on the way here. There is a Desert Industries, my favorite thrift store, just down the road. So let's get some sausage, and then let's go to Desert. Are you hungry? I'm very excited. No cell phones. Oh yeah. you do it, someone Let's do let's do a root beer. Let's do a grape. I've kinda stopped drinking soda, but this is like a special occasion. Let's do a grape. A grape. And a root beer. Oh look, they have actual bangers. I got man. If we had a cooler with us or something, I'd buy them. 
Like I like some bangers. Do you? Yeah, bangers and mash, baby. Let's go. I'm I'm a bangers and mash kind of guy all day. I'm trying to think of a, a word to describe this place. Like, I don't want to say eclectic. Special. It's a special place. There's a sign on the door that says, no cell phones. If you're on your cell phone, we won't serve you. I've never seen that. No, never. That's a first. I'm going to sample Hannah's sandwich before she comes back. It's all right, we shares. Okay, it's good. It's really hot, and it is really not conducive with this beer, but it's good. That's part of my like diet. I haven't really had, uh, oh my God, the wind is blowing. I'm gonna get blown away. I already exceed the weight limit on this table. My tongue is so burnt. As part of this diet I'm on, I've stopped eating bread. This will be my first bread in weeks. I burnt my tongue on yours, so be careful. <laughs> Smells good. Tell me it's gonna be ripped. Was it real hot? Oh, yeah, really so hot. Mine, yeah, mine's a big fat wiener with mustard. <laughs> I thought I'd go simple. Um, Can we open these? I mean, twist them. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, like, I wanted some ketchup, but I was afraid to ask. Oh, really? <laughs> I like ketchup and mustard together, but this is like special mustard. But, bro, it's just a wiener. They've got bangers in there. Mm -hmm. English style bangers. There's one that is just called Yugoslavia. <laughs> that's not a sausage, that's a country. <laughs> well, I don't really like mustard myself, but this is some special stuff. Right. Like, this. like a, a yellow bottle of mustard from the grocery store, I'd rather die. I know we've had this conversation, but same with bread. A white piece of bunny bread from the grocery store, I'd rather die than eat it. Yeah. Grape soda though, come on. <laughs> that's <laughs> so good. Two drinks and it's already on. Yeah, that's the problem. I almost lost a pickle. That would have been sad. All right, with a mouthful, what'd y'all get? The big pig. The what? Big pig. Big pig. Reuben. Reuben. I got the wiener. Full pork. I'm not Reuben. Full pork. Desert Industries, this will actually be the first Desert Industries that I've been to outside of Phoenix, so this better be good. Not a lot, huh? Call of Duty, Lorax. Fury cart. I'll take that, I guess. Same. Quite literally the only game here I don't have. This uh, desert is half the size of any of them in Phoenix. It's really small. Batman, 50 cents. Get him for the Batman show. What'd you get? Well, you got a Batman and a video game. Much, I got nothing. Much, much like. <laughs> you guys didn't find nothing? No. All right, next up, we're at another Bookman's Can I Find More Dinosaur Games? That's the only question I have. Whoa, this is different. There's so much stuff here, it's overwhelming. I know, this is overwhelming. Look at 37 Wii's. Wii's on, Wii's on, Wii's on, Wii's on, Wii's. On, Wii's. <laughs> 100 bucks, Mario Kart 64 in box. I want it so bad. So there is a bunch of PSP stuff here. What? Are you serious? What? You, you want it? Yeah. We can only get it if you do the screech. <laughs> yeah. can I see something super wild? Super wild. <laughs> Like on a scale of one, one to about eleven. Very tempting. All right, let's let's get. Uh, I was gonna say let's get both of them, but that's glass. That's a reflection. That's wild. Three hundred and fifty dollars purchased from the Pokemon Center in Japan. Y'all are punks if you don't buy that. Three hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> Even we have a limit. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. It's beautiful though. Oh wow! Here's an inbox. Super Mario All Stars for forty bucks. This Mech Warrior game includes poster. I'm just gonna spend all my money. Some somebody give me permission to just spend all my money. <laughs> we were just about to leave, and then we discovered the books and magazines and etc. And here's a two dollar Nintendo Power. We'll buy. 
If you see more in Nintendo Power, let me know. Come here, let me show you another game I'm thinking about buying. I think you'll like this one. Wait, what? Buy you, Billy. Jesus. I'm buying it. So this right here would be the second most expensive game I've ever seen out in the wild. Sealed copy of Zelda Ocarina of Time for N64. Saw a $2,000 game once. This one's $1,200. I want it, but I'm not gonna spend that much on it. Bye. While these guys look at the games, I'm gonna show you some art. It is super dope. Look at this thing. A bit closer, it's made out of bike chains. It's so cool. Look at this, how much is it? 20 bucks, comes with a frame. Bruh, that's straight from my favorite era of Daredevil comic books. Uh, I want it so bad. We just, we just, we just don't have any more room to hang stuff, but I want it. That's really true, there's no wall space in our house. Bet me I won't get it. Bet you won't get it. Are you getting it? I really want to. So here's what I got. Hannah, what'd you get? I got Xena Game. Xena Game, you got a bag full of stuff. Look at all that. All right, we'll talk about all that stuff later. We've still got like 30 more stops. At least. At least. We literally drive from, all right, well we literally drove from right there. That's the Bookman's we just came from. There's a Zia Records next door, so we gotta go there. All right, so we're at this very small Zia. It's smaller than the ones back home. And there's game grab bags. So these records? Yeah, those are vinyl records. So, so basically five dollars a pop. They've got Xbox, Wii, PS3. There's a PS2 one. What do you want to do? I play PS2. All right. Well, you're the lucky one. So close your eyes. Pick one. Okay, we'll get that one. Do you want to do one more or? Yeah. Let's not do PS3. I'm between Wii and Xbox. Or should we just do another PS2? Mm, I feel like Wii could go terribly wrong. Yeah, it's it really could. Let's do PS2. All right, we're doing two PS2 grab bags. All right, we found another Goodwill. We actually weren't looking for this one. We just rolled up on it, so let's check it out. Ooh, lots of Wii Fit. Elisa has found the gold. She found some strat guides. Much want. Yeah. Uh, Scott, I already have that one. Okay. Mm, this, Mafia. This is really random. Video game achievements and unlockables for- A comprehensive collection. Video game achievements for Xbox 360. Is that like a just a concordance? Like every game, that'd be wild. Yeah. <laughs> I just, ooh. Call of Duty. Is there anything else good? I've got this. this. Peggy 18. Ooh. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yay. Oh, so we just checked out and bought a bunch of manuals and I'm walking on the way out of this place. These are all gaming manuals. So calm. I already have that, I think. We'll set it aside. Hayes, I'm only gonna buy the stuff that's like, whoa. Brink, Call of Duty, Dungeon Siege, Uncharted 4. I don't know if I have that or not, but I want it. Battlefront, I have the Ultimate Fighter. Turok. I have that. Battlefront, got it. Halo, Splinter Sail, Fuse. Thor, I've got that though. A whole bin of them. It's a lot of the same stuff, but hold on, I'm almost done looking through it. I've got that one. Inhuman. I know. It just I was walking out the front door. It's all you. Go ahead. Bad company. 
the same battlefront one. Of course, I've got that. Every single one of us bought a big old stack of uh, gaming manuals and they still had tons more, but a lot of it was stuff I have, but gosh, I've got like six gaming manuals from one Goodwill. I've never seen so many gaming manuals at a Goodwill. Ever. All right, next up, we're at the Goodwill Bins, and for some reason, it is a particularly windy day here today, so if the audio sounds bad, there's just nothing I can do about it. I can't really hear myself talking so windy. Oh, check this out. This is to that uh, remote-controlled Mario that I see all the time. It's a Mario Kart Mario. I found the cart a dozen times without the controller. Got it now, though. Probably gonna be hard to tell on camera, but this bins is probably a quarter, maybe even less the size of the one that we frequent in Phoenix, the one that you see in all my videos. Uh, but there's always a ton of stuff in here. Power Mac G5 installation disc. It's always a lot of stuff worth looking at. Dan and Lisa already found me a copy of Wii Fit. So that rocks. And I got a couple watches. So, so check this out. The camera wasn't rolling and I found this NES box for shooting range. Uh, and so we're gonna keep digging over here where I just found it. Cause there could be more. There could be more. Wouldn't it be wild though if we found a bunch of boxes? Or at least maybe the manual for that or something. That'd be dope. All right, well, we didn't find any more, but uh, that one box is awesome. That's probably going to be fine of the day for me, I'm thinking. Hold on. I see Pokemon. I see Pokemon. All right. Second find of the day. Pikachu. Is that a good one? Nah, it's not a great one, but it's Pikachu, baby. All right, that's it for the bins. We didn't spend very much time there because we've still got a few more stops we wanna to go to. But that was actually these guys' first time to the bins. We'll have to talk a little bit more at the end of the video about what they thought about it. But uh, for now, let's keep moving. We're trying to make today a record day. The most stops in a video ever. I think we've already actually passed it. I mean, like the max we've ever done is like four or five. So let's keep moving. All right, we've rolled up on another GameStop and it's right across from a Sabres. So that's the itinerary for the next 20 minutes. GameStop, and then it's straight over to Sabres. Let's go. Meow, meow. Oh, those are so great. Have you seen the videos on the internet of kids freaking out to those? No. It's so good. You want to get a, this and do office stuff? No, because I don't want to do office stuff. Oh, lame. <laughs> Lots of DS stuff. Okay. What is this called? Gotcha, All right, get you some. What am I going to get? Wait, who are you hoping for? This one. Alright, let's go. Oh, now you gotta spend $20 to get it though. Uh. Oh shoot, don't go back to the machine. What is it? I mean, it's OG Sora, I'm not mad about it. Is that one? <laughs> what are you getting? Awesome. Same? Same, same. You probably want the Mickey though, huh? I want either that one that or one's like that one. Yeah, that one's just... Mine was absolute. Was... So, course, I think we got the same. Alright, let's see it. Did you? Yep. Exact same. Matchy matchy switch. Twinsies. I can't open it. She's breaking open. I, I got in there. Yeah. Yeah. Here. It. Ooh. You can throw that away. Rip down. Let me see him. Hold him up. Twinsies. Twinning. You're both twinsies. <laughs> All right, let's roll. We've got a Savers to get to. All right, so here's what's up. We're at Savers now. It is half off day at Savers, so it's gonna be packed in here. It was already really hard to park, but uh, fingers crossed we haven't missed all the deals. It's so hot in here, there's a kettle corn place in the parking lot. That's wild, might have to get some. Do like kettle corn. Whoop, I'm gonna die. Did you see me almost die? I almost died. All right, I haven't shopped this store a ton, so I don't know where the games are supposed to be. This looks to just be PC games. So there's a lot of collector's plates here. There's like this farm animal one. There's like some state ones. I don't know a ton about those, so I'm not gonna get into that too much, but uh, there is this elephant bookend. He's missing a tusk, but I feel like, I feel like I could whittle that. Just have to get the right kind of 
wood and like finish it off but if nothing else I mean maybe just like face it this way and you're good to go or just take this one out too because it's like almost falling out that's really pretty I might get that oh that's really pretty wow there's a lot of them yeah it's a set of 16 holy bro and then there's matching tea plates too yeah. 24 oh wow so it's only like eight bucks eight bucks you want to start a new set <laughs> so I'm checking out the electronics, some VCRs. There's really not a ton here to look at. We're definitely a little bit too late in the day to find anything great, but we're still gonna dig around. Uh, what are this? That is a really pretty set of dishes, but I wanna know why they have that price tag on it and if it's worth that much or if they just are a little delusional. I'm very curious. So this is why it's good to shop for friends. Dan just ran up to me and was like, it's your boy. And then Elisa found this. <laughs> it's like we've got, how many eyeballs do we have? Eight? Eight eyeballs. So this is legit the second time I've seen this today. This Lego head bowl thing. I don't, I don't understand what it is, but I keep seeing it. All right, I got some Game Informer. She got a... It's a Corningware day. She's got a, a big pot. She's almost put together a whole set just from separate thrift stores. But now we're gonna go to another Bookman's, I think. We're just, we're gonna keep going. So we're at like the third or fourth game store today. I don't even know I've lost track and it's just overwhelming because there's so much good stuff here. I don't understand how this city is like a third or less the size of Phoenix and there's just so many more stores with more stuff it's it's pretty wild it makes me want to come back soon oh, oh baby look at that controller it's 80 bucks worth it though wish i could get super mario 2 in box if they had it i'd buy it right now in box star fox 40 bucks that's not a bad deal there's yeah. too much to look at oh so much i didn't, I didn't go through all the 3ds games yet but i need this yes i've never seen pokemon pinball in box yeah that's awesome so Bookman's has a like vintage dishes, eclectic like novelty area of these like tchotchkes and things. And I've been taking a peek at some of this stuff. Look at that Miss Piggy. She's funny. But this, this is beautiful. They have $150 on it and rightly so it is worth that. Um, I looked that up on eBay and they are right on the money with that. It's beautiful but they've got a lot of really interesting things through here. Um, some silly things, but also some just really, oh, the little kitty mug. At least I might like that. It's five bucks. I'll show that to her. No, it's tactical. What about Skyhammer? We have, um, no. No? All right. No, that should do it. Solid for Nomad? Yep. All right. I'll Thank you so problem. much. No problem. Oh, that was a lot of games. A lot. Oh my god. How many games was that? I don't know. I lost count. There's still so many more too. So like, many more you're thinking about? Or yeah. You're definitely about to get. Thinking about like Disgaea D2 or Disgaea 2. We don't have that version of that one. We have it on PS3. I'm looking for five dollar strat guides of good stuff. Don't need no fifteen dollar strat guides. It's this guy. Yeah. That's oh, twenty bucks. Jeez. Want too expensive. About as much as the game. <laughs> right. That's not right. Not right at all. Highway rock. Oh, oh here's the disc. Here you go for Hannah. Oh. <laughs> Do it. Three dollars. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> it's, it's, more, oh. it's only three bucks. It's, it's one. perfect. That's perfect. Oh, I see turts. <laughs> I see turts. Turts. That's eight bucks. Turts. That's dope. I'm that's, playing this. That's wild. <laughs> Golden eye. Oh wow. 007 strat guide. Wow. That's awesome. I just bought that game a couple days ago. Yeah. It was uh. And then this guy is just a six. Yep. Same price. Less qu lower quality. Same price. Do we have that dot hack? Um, I, we had infection. It's, oh, it, there's another yokai watch. Look at yokai watch too. <laughs> <laughs> Is it psychic specters? Three dollars. Yeah. All right. We found the, the original one for five the other day. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. It was clean. Nice. 
it's the manual to the Final Fantasy fighting game. Oh, nice. But it's also... Do we have that? We have uh, the game, uh, but $20. $20. It's I've never seen that manual, but I also don't care. I've also never spent $20 on a gaming manual. Yes, uh, pretty much same. Real quick speed run, run me through what you got. Shovel Knight for 3DS. We're going complete filler. <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense. Very filler title. Uh, Persona 4 strategy guide. I've never seen a Persona strategy guide. Shadow Hearts uh, Covenant. Greek strategy guide. My love for Yokai Watch. Second strategy guide for them. We've been killing it on strategy guides today. Yeah. <laughs> so these Pokemon pins are a dollar, so I've got to get one, but the question is, am I electricity Pokemon? Am I a water Pokemon? I'm not a fighting Pokemon. Peace and love. Uh, I don't know, I'm, fire is pretty dope. Was that funny? Fire, I don't know. The, I like water Pokemon, but that blends in. I think I'm electricity. I mean, you're yellow. Listen you're to me, cold. listen to me. I am a god Pikachu, okay? <laughs> This is the Pokeball I used to walk around with on my belt when I act like I was act Ash Ketchum when I was like eight. Okay, um, can I get you guys a bag? <laughs> All right, we are at uh, Round One Arcade. Have you ever heard of Round One? Because that's where we are. Hey, I'm in Luigi's Mansion. Let's go. So we're at a Round One Arcade. Have you ever heard of Round One? Apparently, they've only built a few of them outside of Japan. That's what I hear. Uh, I, I tell you what I like about this place is that it's so well lit. Yeah. Have you ever been in an arcade that wasn't so dark you thought you were gonna trip? Yeah, for I mean, sure. it's bright in here and your boy has sunglasses on. <laughs> I want you to check this out. Mario Kart arcade cabinet. Tell me it would not be the dream to have that in the house. Just in the, in the living room. Look, it's your boy. Hannah's already got it. Hannah's already on it. We gotta go get some tokens. I was just about to look at the camera and say, this arcade's a little bit small. Turns out there's a whole second floor. Look at all this. Look at this place. I, I think I just live here now. I haven't even bought tokens yet to play because like, I, you gotta do a round first, right? You gotta do a round first, right? You gotta look at everything. Tomb Raider, that's loud. Time Crisis, classic. Gold fishing, not interested. Transformers, I'm into that. I see Ghostbusters over there. To be honest with you though, I'm pretty much into the classic arcade games. Like, they've got Down the Clown upstairs. We'll be playing that for sure. But uh, what is this? Jumbo Jumpin'. Bonus tickets, no, not interested. Look at all these claw machines. This place is wild. Hannah, look at the cappies. Oh my god. I want one. I want a cappy. Hannah, win me a cappy. No. What is it? Oh, Yokai Watch? That's what it was. Elisa, win me a Yokai Watch. Come on now. Rip. Yeah, it's super rip. We have to get the cat. That's so annoying. This is the coolest pog machine I have ever seen in my life. I want this in my house. These are like actually three-dimensional. And you like control them with magnets. Want. Do we has tokens? We has tokens. How many tokens do we has? Uh, 44. Okay, let's, let's spend them. Let's spend them wisely. Like all on down the clown. All right, I'm taking my jacket off. That means things are serious. Hannah, load the card. We're down in the clown, all right? You guys ever heard of Down the Clown? It is, it is the best arcade game ever. Forget all these racing games, forget shooting hoops, forget dance dance. Down the Clown is where it's at. Here we go. Let's spend all our money on Down the Clown. Here we go. Let's go.
All right, we're good. We're going good. Don't miss. Don't start missing. I've started missing. What? Four, <laughs> four thirty. I've missed everyone. Oh my god, I'm just so bad. All right, here we go. He won't fall over. We'll get that bottom one. Oh. All right, that was even worse. Keep loading the machine. Oh come on. What? Four, four thirty. Look at all this nonsense food. I got pizza wings. What did you get? Chicken and fries. Fries. What did you get? <laughs> Some pizza. You? One french fry and a small pizza. Black olives. Let's go. I should have got black olives on my pizza. It was a dollar extra. Was it? Rip. All right, guys. We're back in the game room. And look at all this stuff we bought. I mean, it's just a table full. Look how tall. Elisa, it's taller than you. We bought a lot. Here's what we're going to do real quick. We're going to talk about Hannah's stuff first, get that out of the way, and then we'll go on to a tremendous amount of video games. The most video games ever bought on a single episode. So Hannah, what did you get? Speed round. I got a Vintage Levi jacket, medium wash. It's probably from 90s. So that's that one. Then I got a pair of Y2K crisscross stitched looking high high waisted jeans yeah cool next i got a pair of calvin klein jeans from the bins these are a pretty good size they're pretty small i don't have a size of those in that brand i got a pair of white vintage levi's they have the orange tab um these are actually my size as well so considering keeping them but probably won't then i <laughs> I impulse bought a little crop top that was vintage. It's got a cool little detail in the front. I liked it, so that's that. And I got a pair of vintage overalls that are by Stephen Hardy Squeeze. So Weird. those are fun. And then I got my favorite thing, which is Stimpy. Well, <laughs> not your favorite thing. No. I got a four piece set of the wildflower corningware dishes. This one doesn't have a lid, but that's okay. Um, and then I got the, ah, I forgot the name of this one, but one of this set. So I'll eventually piece that set together too. And then we'll see how they go as far as selling. So that's all my stuff. All right, well, Hannah got a bunch of nonsense. These guys, Got a bunch. I don't know if I'd call what y'all got nonsense. Some of that made sense. But Hannah and I bought a bunch of random nonsense. Hannah, come over here. And uh, we're, I guess, I guess maybe, I think you should probably stand over here out of the light and just zoom in on us. Right? Give them, give them one of these. How do you like that, Elisa? You, you into that? <laughs> All right. So, I think... Yeah, let's just, let's go through all my stuff and we'll just save you guys for last because okay. this is insane. <laughs> so I am just gonna go top to bottom. There's no real rhyme or reason here. Uh, this is, I just tried to make my stack look comparable to their stack and I'm only about halfway there. So that's why it's in the order it's in. But the first thing that we got is two stacks of PS2 game grab bags. We've done grab bags on the channel before and you just never know how these things are gonna go. Uh, usually they don't go very well, but we're gonna open these probably on tomorrow's episode come back for that We don't have the time to do this today Let's keep moving. I got a game. I got uh, armored core. Oh, this is actually Armored Core 2. I got it at a Goodwill. It's in a I just bought the game a couple days ago I don't know why I bought it again, but all the games today were like a dollar or two So I pretty much just bought everything that I could uh, WrestleMania x8 on the GameCube PlayStation 2, Fury, 
kart racing. I just some absolute nonsense. This, however, I would not call nonsense. That is a genuine copy of Wii Fit Plus. Would you mind putting that on the Wii Fit Plus shelf? Such an honor. I wish I wish I could explain what it does for me every time there's <laughs> a new copy just you know slid in there real sweet. Don't punch the Wii Fit. Oh. All right. Uh, so any of these games I got, you guys, if you've played them before, definitely comment below and let me know about them. Because uh, I need to know about this game. You know about that? Yeah. You know about you, Billy? Nostalgia. Yep. I'm nostalgia. Nothing about I can't wait. My Retro 5 is plugged up in the bedroom right now. We'll be playing. Now, the coolest thing we bought today, uh, personally, I, the, not all of us, they got some crazy stuff, but the coolest thing that Hannah and I got that I'm super excited about is not just the Zeta game, but also the gaming manual. Hannah, do it for us. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I, I've secretly tried to do that while no one's home. I can't do Do the cats go hide when you do it? No, because it just sounds like I'm, I don't know. They come <laughs> to my, They come to my rescue because they think I'm dying. I also bought Land Before Time Great Valley Racing Adventure. I can't imagine what a racing game from Land Before Time is going to be like. It just seems... Incredible. It seems bizarre. Yeah. Have you played it? No, it's got to be incredible. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to get down on that. Uh, and then Dinosaurs. I was going to just do it for the memes and act like today was just a giant dinosaur episode and just buy dinosaur games. Turns out there's only two. <laughs> Not really. But the only two in Tucson, I bought them. Because uh, uh, we looked. I got a stack of PSP UMDs, Assault on Precinct 13, Kingdom of Heaven, Resident Evil Extinction, and Dan and I discussed this movie rather fondly today, Robots. Rest in peace, Robin Williams. All right. And let's get into another stack of BS games. Lego Racers 2. Another racing game today that I'm actually quite excited about. A Lego racing game. I hope, like, the cars collide and they explode as Legos. Legos. Yeah. yeah. A sealed copy of Pheasants Forever Wing Shooter. I, it was sealed, okay? It was sealed. Vegas Party. Also sealed. Super happy. Two sealed games in one day. Namco Museum Remix. Cabela's North American Adventures. I have almost all the PlayStation 2 Cabela's games, and I don't like have any of the Wii's, so I guess I gotta get some of those out of the way. And then Twisted Towers. I, this one actually looks really exciting to me. So, I'll be playing that soon. Now, I've got a stack of... I can't... That's like... I've slowly... They're on the other side of the game room. I've slowly been piecing together magazine collections, gaming manual collections. This is like how much I buy in a month. We had a wild trip today. Nintendo Power, my new favorite issue. Elisa found this one hiding in the deep, dark depths of a shelf in a Bookman's. Was it Bookman's? Or was it, yeah. it was a Bookman's, yeah. Bookman's. And uh, I was super happy. And then, Super Smash Brothers Gaming Manual. Follow me over here real quick, Hannah. This is the only reason I bought this. How can I do this without it being a disaster? Bruh. Bruh! I'm super happy about that. That's the only, I mean, I don't really know that you need a manual for Super Smash. I mean, I know it's complicated, but I don't know that I'll use one. But it looks good over there on that shelf. Now, is there... You think there's more... There's probably a manual for each one. Yeah. Now i got to hunt down the rest. I thought my Super Smash collection was complete. Turns out it is not. Battlefront Collector's Edition Strategy Guide. I've actually never played any of the Battlefront games, I'm ashamed to say, because your boy loves Star Wars. Uh, so I, I've been piecing all this stuff together. I've got almost all the games now, so when it's time to play them, it's going to be lit. <laughs> I don't even know if I already have this. There's about an 80% chance I do, but these were all a dollar or two, so I just bought all the ones that I had even moderate interest in. Aliens, uh, Colonial Marines, and then Pirates of the Caribbean, the video game. Uh, that's awesome. I love getting the Lego gaming manuals. And then Hannah's and mine's favorite uh, game to play together, Little Big Planet. We had the first one. We didn't have Little Big Planet 2 gaming manuals, so we can pick that up. Game Informer. Game Informer. Game Informer. Game Informer. Star Wars Clone Wars. And last, certainly not least, I do love me some Uncharted, personally. Mm -hmm. Some great platforming right there. Some great modern platforming. Uh, and I actually haven't played four yet, so very excited. Be ready. I'll, I'll have it now. Like I said, guys, come back tomorrow, and we'll be opening these bad boys up. 
that's everything that I got. Hannah, let me relieve you of camera duty. And let's really, really talk about these video games. All right, let's see if we can blow through these. There you go. All right. Lufia for the Game Boy Color Legend Returns. I believe this is the only Lufia we need in our collection. We got all the Got them all. All right, well, let's talk. I, I know I said we were going to blow, blow right through <laughs> these. But, like, this is one of the games you bought I was the most curious about. Because it's, like, it's clearly it's the only Game Boy game you bought. Yeah. What's, uh, what is it? Why is this special? It's, well, it's a RPG. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. Us playing RPG. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so we, we have uh, Lufia 1 and 2 on the Super Nintendo. And I believe this is the only other game that is an American release okay. of the Lufia series. All right, well, great. So, last one. And I love me some Yokai Watch, so here's the Yokai Watch pin. Nice. Couldn't leave him behind. All right. So uh, we're trying to go complete on Vita. So one we were missing, Tokyo Twilight Hunters. Good price. Needed it. Um, a bunch more RPG. Okay, not RPGs. So Valhalla Knights 2 for PSP. Didn't have it yet. Another RPG. Uh, Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. One of the longest games on the PSP. Uh, Monster Hunter Freedom 2, one of the longest other games on the PSP. This one, we've been looking for for a long time. Uh, this is uh, Kenkyo Bancho, which is a literally Japanese insult each other in combat. It's amazing. It's um, a Japanese version of rap battle. Yes, yes, gotcha. exactly. And uh, another one we've been looking for complete, haven't ever found it complete, is Gudumin, just a good platformer, kind of similar to Jewel Dozer type thing. It's awesome. Very nice. Um, two other big RPGs we're looking for, Sands of Destruction and Knights in the Nightmare. This is like a more difficult, high encounter rate, Secret of Mana. I'll so be playing this. She'll be playing that like You're crazy. excited about that one? <laughs> yes. Uh, we've been, once again, trying to go complete on 3DS. We found a bunch of things we didn't have for them yet, so Pokemon Rumble Blast. Filler. Filler. <laughs> Never play, sit on the shelf, wipe out. RPG RPG we, we were missing, finally found Seventh Dragon. Uh, it's awesome. This one actually is one of the hardest ones on the system too, so I will play the crap out of this. Uh, Shovel Knight. Filler. Filler, <laughs> but only five bucks. Should be awesome. Uh, we have this on three different systems now. <laughs> Virtue's Last Reward. Uh, a sealed Langrisser, which is cool. It's another RPG. I we didn't notice missing. that one was sealed. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Lord of Magna, another one we were looking for for a long time. One of the few RPGs. I think we have all the RPGs now on the system, like officially. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Got to double check the list. Yeah, and then another filler game, Cradle of whatever garbage. <laughs> Very nice. Puzzle game. There you go. All right. All right. Is that all PS3? This yep. is all PS3. Yeah, we're going by systems. So I found this at a GameStop. It's the HD collection for Metal Gear Solid. Very nice. Two, Very nice. three, Peace Walker. Uh, Fairy Fencer F. Now, I think this one is kind of an RPG. It looks like it's a fighting game, but we recently saw it on a top 10 on a PS3 uh, JRPG. We're trying to get all the RPGs on all the systems, so like, yeah, <laughs> we'll get there. Uh, Atelier uh, series. Um, I think these are the last two that we need on PS3. There are a lot of them though, so we'll have to double check. Hyper Neptunia. Hyper Dimension Neptunia. Now this they're series bad, looks really cute. And I'm not really sure why they're so bad, but we'll have to find out. But a lot of people are kind of mediocre on that, that series. But hey, we got to have them. They're RPGs. Yep. A um, couple movies in here. Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Awesome. Uh, Pokemon the first movie, it was sealed. So we're like, sure, we don't have it. It was like 99 cents. Yeah. <laughs> At least a Xenosaga. Uh, Xenosaga. This is the third volume. They did an anime of the series. Um, so if you haven't finished the game, spoilers. Mm -hmm. uh, one at least I really wanted. Arcana Heart. This it, is a all-girl fighting game. An all-girl fighting game. By Atlas. By so, Atlas. you know, it's going to be good and it's going to go up in price. Plus, how cute is the artwork? <laughs> yeah, that's an awesome cover right there. And then one we've been looking for. Grim Grimoire. It's another, like, it's made by the company that made Odin Sphere and Marasa and all that. Now, so that, one, artwork. that one captures my attention immediately. Yeah. It, it looks kind of, like, spooky and, like, um, the like the, the German, like, um, fairy tales. Yeah. So when, when I saw immediately, I said, oh, my gosh, I can't play it because I don't have a 
we don't have a Japanese PS2, PS2, but it's uh, Tales of Destiny Director's Cut. Which was only released on PS1 for North America, it's but awesome. in Japan they got a sweet re-release on PlayStation 2. Um, some manuals. <laughs> strategy Guide. Strategy Guide. Disgaea 2 Strategy Guide. They almost look like they're just manga. Yeah, right? they, they do, yeah. Oh yeah, our t- I, I'm, I love shooters, shoot 'em ups. So our type final. Um, Daniel's favorite game. Nice. I love this game. Unfortunately, for some reason, my original art was water damage, so I just really wanted some new cover art, and it was cheap. So very nice. It's another uh, RPG that we needed. Um, great price. We've we've Never seen, seen it, it for cheap. around thirty dollars, but ten fifty. Just got the manual for that last week. Or the yes. collector's edition. And my fitness coat. No, we just got a, a case. We need a case swap. Replacement case. <laughs> Needed it. Um, we don't have any Persona uh, strategy guides, so I was excited to find one. They're one of these little manga looking ones, too. And then I have been trying to complete my hardbound uh, Harry Potter books and got this for a dollar, and it's brand new, practically. The Tales of Beetle Bard. Super approved. Yeah. And one and four. This was the fourth one. Uh, paid up three two ninety nine for this one. But it's in fantastic condition too. Um, that completes my Harry Potter series. <laughs> um I so we don't there aren't that many good rpgs on 360 in fact the 360 isn't really a system we like to collect for but we have all the rpgs now i think this is the last one we needed and it's a good one and it's a great price and it actually came with the additional um book that i've never seen awesome super awesome yeah and a bunch of manuals eternal darkness we don't Six have dollars. the game yet don't have the game yet but it's amazing we'll, we'll keep uh, looking manual yeah. first no problem with that yep yeah, it's fine we'll condemned find it. to bloodshot another you know survival horror this beautiful collector's edition Skyward Sword. I just Cle- saw it. Oh one. yeah. Yeah. You hear you hear the the sound of the chest open when you yeah. touch it. Yeah. No 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 no. And then of course. Yo, okay, watch. We just picked up the the first one two days ago, so now I have the second book. And then. Excellent Shadow Hearts RPG. We letters. have all the RPGs, we just don't have the book for it. And then one of my favorite racing games of all time, Burnout Revenge. So that was awesome. Last but not least, look at all these Dragon Quest Eleven <laughs> buttons. My girl loves her Dragon Quest, so that was, a, that was an awesome little find. I do want to point out one thing that was forgotten, and we should all be ashamed of ourselves. <laughs> this is the best thing I bought today. Uh, well, let's talk about <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about favorites. Like this, I feel like this is gonna be hard for y'all because you guys got some great stuff. What's your What's your favorite thing you got? Oh man! Okay, grab that. It'd be harder to dig it out of the stack. <laughs> this by far. I love Japanese director's cuts or collector's editions, and it has a soundtrack, the complete game, all the art, like Tales of Destiny. This is awesome. This is gonna look good on the shelf, and when we find the Japanese PS2, we'll play it. Hannah, was this your favorite thing? Um, that's my favorite. All thing. right. Not even a tie. Okay. Hannah's favorite thing is this giant honker dish. Or the earrings I forgot to talk about. Oh yeah, we keep, we've been forgetting stuff. I bought a dice because I collect dice, and I bought my favorite mouse. Mouse. This is what I use on my gaming computer, and I've got a second one for my second PC. Hashtag first world problems. Uh, but this just has a special place in my heart, and the fact that it makes that noise is even better. So after all those years, favorite favorite. What's your favorite? Lufia. The yeah Lufia. the the Lufa. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Now, I want to ask a couple things of you before you go. The first thing I want to ask of you is that you come back a little bit later tonight, 6 p.m. Eastern time tonight on the channel. We'll be live, right? So if you're watching this video the day that it's posted, today we're doing our live podcast. It's only our second one. And we've got some crazy stuff planned, so we want you to come back for that. And then... If I could please, please beg of you to do a couple more things. Go join our Discord. These guys are members. They're kind of our resident RPG people. So if you've got any RPG love to show, come tell these guys what you're into. Come talk to them about some RPGs over our Discord. The link is below. And then, even bigger than that, an even bigger ask, please sub to this channel because we're trying to grow. We're trying to do more of this stuff. The bigger we grow, the more video games we buy because this is for sure the most video games ever bought in a single day on this channel so subscribe and then if you are subscribed please hit that notification bell and all that's going to do 
is give you notifications whenever we post videos. So like later tonight when we go live for our podcast, if you've hit that bell, you'll get a notification immediately when we go live. And then you can come back there and hang out with us there, guys. And until then, peace out.